Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty nice. I mean, once Mom gets her photo set up, it's gonna be great. No, I meant you. I mean, the way you're using the last of your trust money to rent this place for your mom and Jessica, that's pretty amazing. Oh, oops. I didn't know you guys were home. I'm sorry. I'll just... Oh, no, wait. Jessica. We need to, you know, talk about the stuff we were gonna show at the gallery. Sure. Yeah, it seems like a really great opportunity. It's a lot to work out, though. Starting with what pieces we're gonna show, and the lighting, and well, if anybody's gonna show up to this place. Relax, relax, Rembrandt. I got it all covered. Here, let me show you what I've been doing. So when do you think you're going to be able to put together an inventory for me? Well, I guess I, I got to look through the stuff that I have in my mom's house. I can help. I mean, I, I don't really know anything about art. I don't know what I do exactly, but... Well, all we have to know is that Christian is really great. Oh. Can you believe what Natalie did here? Yeah, I mean, this is so great. And Mom... It meant so much to her. And seeing that ring is pretty amazing. Yeah, I love it more every second I wear it. <laughs> uh, look, I, we don't have very much time, so uh, maybe we should head over to your mom's and see what you have there. Okay. okay. Let's go. Why don't you get your things? Actually, why don't the two of you just go? I mean, like I said, I don't really know anything about art, and I've got so much to do here. I mean, if I don't get that upstairs done, we're never going to be able to move in. <laughs> you sure you don't want to go? Positive. Too much to do. Go be famous. Okay. Let's go. anybody you could have just knocked. Well, honey, why don't you lock the door? Anyone could come in here. Oh, this is sweet. This is like Hansel and Gretel time. Very nice. Nice. How'd you fall into this? Well, I rented it out for Mom and Jessica with the leftover trust fund money, and um, Christian and I are actually going to be staying in the apartment upstairs. Hey! Hmm? Cool place. What are you doing here? I mean, how did you know that I'd be here? How did either one of you know that I moved out? Well, I can't speak for him, but, uh, honey, I got my sources. I went by your rich grandfather's. That guy Nigel told me to look for you here. Figure I'd come over and check out the new digs. Heard it's gonna be one big happy family. You and Christian, Jess, your mom. Sounds cozy. In fact, it sounds a little bit too cozy. Excuse me? Well, honey, are you a special kind of stupid or something? I mean, you know, you shouldn't be putting Christian around uh, Jessica. I mean, they had this thing. And you know what they say about your first love. Yeah, look, Christian and Jessica are so over, okay? Okay, honey, but you know, you better face facts, baby cakes. And even though you're uh, Vicky and Clint's real daughter, you don't have the pedigree or the brains that Jessica has. Oh, really? Well, if I'm so second rate, then why did Christian ask me to marry him? Whoa, what a rock. That even looks real. Of course it's real, Roxy. <laughs> you know, I must have done something right when you were growing up. I mean, you know, you don't have my mental or my physical atrophies, but uh, you must have done something special to get a stone like that. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. I, I owe it all to you. All right, come on, you. Let's go. Hey, all I'm done. just trying to help. I okay. know. Thanks. Right. Thanks. You're a saint. I like this quilt. That's yep. cool. It's great. I'll buy you one. Come on. All right, I'm going. All I'm right, going. Yeah, stop. Okay. All right, I got a couple of appointments. Stop. All right there, Foxy. Okay, bye bye. Nice seeing you. Take care. Oh, come on, what? You're going to take that seriously? Ignore her. Oh, I do. I mean, sh sure, I do. I. She's not so far off, you know? I mean, 
Jessica, she she does have everything, you know? She, the way she talks, the way she carries herself. I mean, everybody even knows that. I mean, she does have class. You're as classy as they come, Natty. Besides, you've got plenty of things that Jessica doesn't. Like? Well, Christian, for one. And this, for another. What's this? Open it. Rex, it's beautiful, but how could you afford something like this? <laughs> you know, someone ought to teach you how to accept a gift. Uh, it's just, it's got to have cost a fortune. I mean... Well, I've been working at the Palace Hotel, remember? Plenty of cash tips, plus overtime. I wanted to do something nice for my sister, so sue me. Okay, fine, so you're not really my sister. But it still feels that way. To me, anyway. I'm sorry. I still think of you as my little brother, too, and I, I love it. I really do. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. So, where's the fiance? He's busy. He's, um, he's got some organizing to do. He's having some artwork being shown at Lindsay Rappaport's art gallery. Wait, I, I thought Jen's mom was in the nut house. She is. Oh. Well, I guess whoever's running the art place must be pretty hot for him then, huh? Who's calling the shots? Jessica. Really? Where'd you get that? A gift. From who? Oh, you know, some guy I know. What? You think you're the only man in my life? I better be. <laughs> it's from Rex. He, um... Uh, got it for me to congratulate me on our engagement. Well, I, I thought Rex preferred to take than give. Come on. I mean, he's really not that bad underneath it all. He, he hasn't had it all that easy, you know? But, but he's trying. He's got his job at the palace. He's trying to get his life back on track. Oh, I thought it was pretty sweet. I mean, he is my brother in every way that counts. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know you love them. It's just that it looks pretty expensive. How could, how could you afford that? I don't know. Maybe put it on a payment plan or something. Mm -hmm. Babe, I know that Rex can be tough to take at times, but I don't know. Maybe it's just that I know where it comes from. So, anyway, how'd it go with Jessica? Well, she can be pretty persuasive. I guess I'm doing a one-man show. Funny, though, she doesn't want me to use any of her drawings. I mean, the ones I have of her. Are there a lot? Oh, yeah. Tons. So you'll do it? Yeah, man, you bet. I'm happy for you. What's going on? Antonio's gonna be the best man at my wedding. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna take this downstairs. Don't, uh, don't worry about me. Mom. First, Natalie says she wouldn't dream of getting married without my blessing. The next thing I know, she's wearing a diamond ring. Now, what were you going to tell me? Was I going to be surprised when I got the invitation in the mail? Natalie knows you don't like her. What, do you think she's going to come around here asking you for advice? Christian, you and I never argued like this before she came along. This is all her fault. No, it's not. It's yours. <laughs> 